Like many American cities, Cleveland was once a center for industry and good jobs. But the factories closed up or moved away and took the jobs with them. Today, over half the children in Cleveland live below the poverty line. Without jobs, poor neighborhoods get poorer, and disinvestment, lack of educational opportunity, and barriers to employment compound themselves. How can we bring jobs back to cities like Cleveland and keep them there? We need to work with what we've got, and a city like Cleveland has got a lot of world-class hospitals and universities. These are anchor institutions, large, non-profit institutions which are anchored to the city and very unlikely to move away. These anchors are the economic powerhouses of the city, spending billions of dollars every year on the goods and services they use every day. But a lot of that money is spent far outside the city. How can we use the billions of dollars anchors already spend to help lift neighboring communities out of poverty? The Cleveland model points toward a solution. Anchor institutions want to make their operations more sustainable. And this is an opportunity to create new local businesses to fill these new needs. But we need to make sure that these businesses stay rooted in the communities that need the jobs the most. In the Cleveland model, these businesses are worker cooperatives, owned by their own workers. Each worker owner has an equal share and a voice in the way the company is run. Democratic control of the company keeps jobs local. It's hard to imagine the workers at a company voting to eliminate their own jobs because it'd be cheaper to hire lower paid employees somewhere else. And democratic ownership of the company keeps the profits local too. Rather than flowing out of the city to an owner in the suburbs or to some big corporation's offshore bank account, the wealth generated by the business is distributed broadly to the community members whose work makes that wealth possible. Keeping wealth local means that more people can buy more things in the community, which creates more jobs and builds more wealth. The anchor institutions buy things like clean power and local produce from the cooperatives. This was money they needed to spend anyway, but now they not only get the sustainable goods and services they need, they are also helping build jobs in their neighboring communities. And when the cooperatives have long-term contracts to supply major local institutions, they can be more certain that their businesses will thrive. They can even take these contracts to the bank if they need credit to help their business grow. It's a win-win situation. These cooperatives themselves cooperate. They are linked together by a larger nonprofit. The worker owners promise never to sell their company to make a quick buck, and in return, the nonprofit helps their cooperative business succeed providing technical assistance and strategic guidance. The nonprofit also operates a revolving loan fund, which channels investment from anchor institutions, local foundations, and government programs to the cooperatives. As the cooperatives thrive, they pay back into the revolving fund, which eventually provides the money to help launch yet new cooperatives, creating even more jobs. If it can work in Cleveland, it can work in your city. With cooperatives in Cleveland operating the nation's largest urban greenhouse and installing its largest urban solar field, people are paying attention. The Cleveland model is spreading, with worker co-ops connected to their local anchor institutions springing up in cities across the country.